Impossible Battle number 11. When I started this series and issued the call for saves, of course I had something in my mind that I wanted. There was something that I imagined, was hoping to receive. As much as anything else that I'll ever probably get, this is that. So thanks to Heartfelt Fancy for the submission, as soon as I saw it, I was excited. We are the Takeda. We have Takeda Shingen. He is leading cavalry. They are relieving a fort that has katanas, yari. He's bringing katana cavalry and light cavalry and two brothers. And this is to deal with a horde of nearly 7,000 Iko Ike. So remember that time I fought that battle with 5,000 on large unit sizes? Well this time we're on huge unit sizes and we have a lot of these inflated 240 men units and we're nearly at 7,000 with these two stacks. This is one hell of a two stack army. There's 7 XP Boashigaru there, 3 of them, there's a 6. There's 3 or 4 XP Yari Ashigaru and Ikuiki Yari Ashigaru and Ashigaru in general have more men, higher morale, slightly lower melee stats, but when you have these units with XP, that additively increases their stats and melee, and of course the morale. So these units have inflated morale and number of men with decent melee stats. These are super Ashigaru. And of course the Lone Swords, one unit of Lone Swords there. Then another one here. And Bow Ronin, improved accuracy. Rank 5 faction leader. Rank 4 general, rank 2 general. And then 4 units of light cavalry. A Bow Ronin. Um, another massive stack of Ashigaru. And what do we have to deal with it? Some Katana Samurai. Some Yara Ashigaru. And a decent contingent of cavalry with improved charge, some experience, and of course they're the Takeda variant. So we have four units of Takeda variant cavalry with XP and improved charge. The stage is set. This is that Owari, that's the Oda former capital that Ikuiki have rolled right through the centre of Japan and they're pushing east towards the Takeda. So this is where Shingen butts heads with Shimozuma. This is the same fort we fought at a few battles ago with Shingen. We're doing it again. The same map. So I've got four potent melee units here and four throwaway units. So what I'm gonna do is this is what I did of course, I'm post commentating now. I put the four units that don't have much potency in the fort and then I took the two katanas and the two yaris that have experience out of the fort to support the cavalry. And what I need to do is beast this. There's no other way to win this, I have to just beast it. So I've got to bring my cavalry in as fast as possible to support my infantry, which I'm going to be using to their full extent as well. I need to use all of my components here if I'm to pull this off and even then it may not be enough. So I'm gonna have three general units, two light cavalries and two katana cavalries, two katana samurais, two yari ashigarus and they need to be used with coordination. I need to blitzkrieg the fuck out of this army with perfect decision making, timing, micromanagement and at this point they are separated into groups that are somewhat easy to manage. All of these little groups around the fort have experience, so they're going to be really difficult to take down in a melee and to rout, so I need to use my combined arms really well. So I'm going to try and keep Shingen behind the line at all times. I'm going to be using my Katana Samurai as shock troops, and then I'm going to be going in for decisive morale breaking charges with my Light Cavalry and my Katanas. And I'm going to be trying to preserve all of my units from fight to fight. 
They just charged through one of their own units and that dulled the charge into my Katana Samurai. That Katana Samurai would have been in trouble there if they didn't get shielded by the enemy unit. And you can see what I've got now. I've got a little fight forming that I can manage. It's now up to me to match units perfectly. I need to keep my Katanas alive. I can't put them into a fight that's too difficult for too long because they'll just get attritioned. And I need to protect my Yari Ashigaru from ranged units. And also I need to keep an eye on all my cavalry units. I can't let them take charges. I'm trying to meet their cavalry units with my light cavalry. And I'm trying to use my Katana cavalry to charge into the backs of Yari Ashigaru and bow units. So I've got something to deal with everything. And look at that sight. Look at how ominous that is. I have 11 units to deal with all of this. That's all I've got, 11 units. And they're not particularly indomitable. They're not superheroes. They're just 11 regular units. And I need to use them all to overcome this fucking horde. And the bows are joining in now. And I'm trying to keep Shingen as close to the front as possible. I'm keeping my generals together as a group of three, just behind where the lines meet, so that Shingen's sphere effect is affecting as many fights as possible. I'm trying to charge with the katanas and fear with Shingen while my cavalry get flanking charges. And it's going pretty well so far. Their units are not lasting very long. They're not getting to build up any momentum. I've got my cavalry moving where they need to be really well, like just there my cavalry got caught, my katanas got caught a little bit. My light cavalry are flanking right where things look a bit thinner. And my katana samurai are advancing. They are advancing through this and I'm supporting them. And it's just the pinnacle of deployment in Shogun 2. This is what I always wanted to do. Katana Samurai casually just leading the line, charging through the masses, fully expecting to win every fight while cavalry support them, while their general inspires them and terrifies the shit out of the enemy. This is it. This is what I knew I had to do before this battle started, and it's happening. <laughs> And I'm sustaining it. Look at all of these white banners. And look at look at this cavalry just running around doing what it needs to do. What do I even what do I even say? I can only watch it. It's just it's just beautiful to behold. And they keep sending more stuff in. They're sending cavalry in from the left now. And my camera went a bit wonky there because the sensitivity discrepancies, because of the frame rate, because of all this stuff going on. And they've got a unit of Yarashigaru rallying behind me. And I'm trying to get through to the bows now with the Katana Cavalry. Katana Cavalry have decent armour. They're like tanks. They're, they're, they've made it through, look. That unit is at 3 quarters strength. It only just went below 3 quarters strength, that first Katana Cavalry. And it's already made it through all of these fights. Things are happening so fast. Look at all of that cavalry running up the hill. That was the, the difficult part of the fight the fight on that slope, but I tried to avoid that. I tried to keep the fight down here and do as much damage as I needed to before I could take the hill and then move up and actually take the hill and I did it. And I've retained. Look at that, I've still got more than half of my katana samurai. It's just so good. It's so good. I've got more than half strength on every unit still. And I've got almost all of my light cavalry and I'm using them to try and assassinate the generals. Something has to fight these generals and I've only got two units of Yari Ashigaru so they have to step up. Katana cavalry are pushing through. And I've got all of these bows still from the first army, the initial attackers. And the katana samurai are pushing down the hill now into surviving infantry. And I'm trying to keep my cavalry together to combine all their charges. And there's cavalry coming in. Well, there's so much cavalry. We're the Takeda. And we do have cavalry supremacy in the sense that our units are better than theirs, but they just have a lot of them as well. And I'm trying to use my cavalry to win the, the fight, I'm trying to support my infantry. But they're just sending their cavalry as... ...harassment. They're just sending cavalry to distract me. And there's my katana samurai in the shallows. Still at nearly half strength, both of these katana samurai units. After all that, it's still as good as a coin flip if you're still alive and holding your katana. After all of those fucking charges. <laughs> because they were supported so well by cavalry. Oh, Lord, a <laughs> oh, what the fuck. 
Yeah, that one was really, oh, really satisfying. So I took on the Yari Ashigaru really boldly with the two units of Katana Samurai. And I made the fight easy for the Katana Samurai by cutting their fights shorter with the cavalry by getting flank charges. And of course Shingen was doing that too with his spear effect that is just one of the most satisfying <laughs> aspects of Shogun 2. And also I was taking out the bows and the lone swords with my cavalry. And some must rest. So I gave all my units good fights. I kept my cavalry away from Yari through all that. I don't know how much contact all of my cavalry units had with any Yari units, but that is just pretty spectacular. An achievement in itself to have managed to utilize so much cavalry to such a great extent while at the same time denying any contact with Yari. How many Yari Ashigaru were on the field and how many of them even touched a cavalry unit of mine? <laughs> ah, it's just it's just satisfying, you know? <laughs> and these units here, all they had to do was buy time. They were not going to pull anything off. Maybe if I had another unit of Yari Ashigaru down on the field supporting the cavalry, I could have done a bit better or I could have used it at some points. But I really needed them to buy time for me, and they did that. I had a bow unit facing their bow ronin at the other side, and I had a couple of Yara Shigaru, and I stretched them all out on the walls and guard moded them, I think, and the retainers, of course. It's really difficult to pull off all of this with the little amount of time that I had. And this is... This is one of the runs that I was very satisfied with as soon as I got it. So that saves... That deals with the Ikuike. Oh man. 10 elevenths wiped out and we only lost about half. 869 kills on a unit of Katana Samurai without much experience. Thing of beauty, Thing of beauty indeed. And they were fighting against Yari Ashigaru with fucking 3 and 4 XP. Yep, so that effectively saved the campaign there. The Ikuiki hordes were halted as soon as they contacted the Takeda. Shingen survived, Nobukado and Nobushige survived. Still got all of his cavalry. They've got 4 and 5 experience now. And even the garrison units I think all survived. Yep. That was one hell of a fight. Really pleased with that one. If you're liking the videos and want to spur me on, check out my Patreon page. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington, The Rode 451, and Halcyon.